Alright, in this video I'll show you how to boot from a USB on a Lenovo. So, turn the computer on, F2 or delete keys, one of the two. F2 in this case. This is the idea pad Y560P, i7, second gen, 8 gig RAM. We got our new SSD in there and this is the old hard drive we're going to clone. We're going to use an adapter like this, SATA, to a USB. So I've got a USB here which I'm going to boot into. So I'll put the USB in. Okay, let's have a look at our options. Okay, so normally in your case you might have your hard drive as the primary boot. So what you want to do is USB key, put it up, and USB HDD, put it up. So if I press F10 and exit, it should automatically boot from the USB anytime soon. This is the Paragon, so I'm going to use Paragon software to clone the hard drive across. There we go. That's a CSM boot, and I'm not sure if this one allows secure boot. I doubt it does. It doesn't have a UEFI enabled. It's a little bit older model. So at this stage, we can connect our hard drive. You'll be doing the same boot from a USB if you're installing Linux or Windows 10 from a USB, etc. Hard drive plugged in, and I don't think it offers USB 3. I can't remember. Okay, so we'll let it boot. Okay, so we're going to go drive copy, migration, choose our old hard drive, which is the external drive, don't get this wrong, copy this disk. That's interesting, I never received that error message before. Try again, refresh. and copy very interesting i haven't seen that error message before what copy this disk try one more time Hmm, cannot migrate requested object. Software did not find requested source object among possible sources. So, we're going to disconnect the hard drive. Hmm, very interesting. I'm going to connect it to the other side of the laptop. This is very strange. Okay. Paragon Hard Disk Manager. Okay. Drive copy. One more time.
That is very interesting. I haven't seen these weird error messages before. Okay. Very interesting. What the hell? Okay. Let's shut down. Let's try another software. I thought it's going to be a simple process, <laughs> but it's not, okay. You can also press F12 to build from uh, another source. So it's building from the USB now. This is Paragon Drive Copy. We'll connect the external drive again. Okay, so we got Macrium. Let's try Macrium to clone. See if it will work. Back up. We can see it here. Now Macrium will work, but one issue is it doesn't continue when there is a bad sector. Unless I can change an option here somewhere. No. Okay, so it doesn't give me options in terms of what, what happens if there is a bad sector. Okay, let's do a quick reboot. Try something else. So this is Macrium. It's in the wrong box. Okay, so we're going to use Paragon's Hard Disk Manager to clone it across. Select the disk, 
Okay, let's connect our external drive. Taking a long time. Finally. Okay, so we're going to copy this disk That's interesting. This is so interesting. <laughs> I cannot copy. Copy is available there. I can't copy. What the hell? What's going on? Let's try another adapter. This is extremely strange. Okay. All right, the drive is connected. Let's see. So if this doesn't work, we're going to put the hard drive back in and copy from internal drive. I have another idea. Still trying to read. Oh, here we go. Yeah, look at that. Copy this disk is available. Never seen such a weird behavior. Okay, so it's definitely the um, controller that I used. So we're going to clone into the SSD. Great. Copy now. Copy WD750 gig. Oh no, so it's going to erase everything, will be erased and replaced with the 750 gig. Yes, go ahead. Great, we'll let this run. I'll come back to the video later on. So, the cloning finally finished. Beautiful. So we should now be able to reboot into our operating system. Straight. So this is the drive copy software, close, and take the external drive out, ignore all errors, 
Wow, the 750 gig drive is very hot. It's worked a lot. Okay, now power, restart, computer should reboot just fine and also I recommend changing the boot menu options and put the hard drive first, say if the client or anyone puts a USB drive that has a bootable system on it, it doesn't make a mess of their uh, boot, so simply bring the hard drive up, F10 save changes and exit. Beautiful. It's running cooler and SSD on a Windows 7 and we'll do the upgrade to Windows 10. Yeah, fantastic. So I'll leave the video here. So upgrading the Windows 10 um, SSD and the cleaning of the fans complete. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to support this channel.